Hi everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video it's going to be me and Super D versus Siska, Masiaka, UA and Akris. Now the map of choice will be Bottleneck and of course there's no other mode of battle for 2v2 aside from Confrontation. So yes, now before we start please do consider subscribing on my channel and turn on the notification to not miss an upload or stream from my channel. Might as well give this video a thumbs up or a like before you do watch and I'd highly appreciate it. Now without further ado, let's go jump straight into the battle. Okay, here goes the battle. Alright, so I'm gonna be the green player and Super Day will be the blue player. Okay, so I'm going to build away from the ocean as of course I don't have any naval upgrades or anything like that. Okay, so Super D is doing nicely. Okay, I opted out for two barracks as this can be seen right there. Okay, we're gonna have to fast forward by a bit as this battle proceeded, you know, for quite long. Okay, I'm gonna have to gather the containers can be seen right there. Gather, gather, gather. Okay. Oh, nice grab right there. Okay. And so... I'm not really, you know, I'm not really expecting to win this battle, and so I'm just going to uh, opt out for, you know, like, um, space, okay? So what I will go into is space system. I'll go ahead and rush it for rank 17, okay? Now, a scout uh, can be seen right there, so there's no point in going for a shipyard level 2 for alligators. That will be a complete waste of command points on their end. And that one coyote is going to be annoying as to scout our bases. Now as you can see, I will have level 3 HQ, vehicle factory over here, construction yard over here. So that of course I can expand my base on this uh, location right there. Okay, I have a ninja assault right here. Let's see how Super D is doing. Vehicle factory, avia factory, vertex has just come out. Okay, so I'll have another scout right here, and this guy will play Hawks, as can be seen right there. Two Avia Factory Hawks, level 4 HQ. So yes, so this guy will just go Avia. Still level 1 Vehicle Factory, so this guy doesn't have anything aside from Hawks. He rushed it. Okay, so let's see what will happen here. Okay, and I have a total of 3, 6, and 7 Supply Center. Super D has two Hawks already, but still level 3 HQ. Okay, there's that one annoying, uh, one annoying Kaiman. So I have detected that this guy doesn't have anti-air just yet. So Super D will have to target that Avia Factory before the Hawk comes out. But the Hawk already popped out. Okay, so Super D, come on. Let's see what Super D can do right here. I think he'll have to retreat or go after that Hawk that just popped out and are trying to intercept the Vertex, but he'll have to retreat. Now another vertex will have will soon pop out of that Avia factory. Okay, ooh wow, that's a solid hit right there. Okay, and two hawks are actually chasing this vertexes. Okay, uh huh. Okay, so those hawks did not manage to hit the vertex. What? So yeah. Okay, so they're just running in circles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Managed to fire. Okay, so that hawk landed one hit on the uh, vertex that just docked right there. However, this one vertex are still chasing after this hawk right here. Okay, will it get a kill? Yes, it did hit. It did hit. Okay, very good. Now, there will be a scout right here. Okay, Sin, you know, it. scout right here reveals that this yellow player will go for land army composition and going level 4 HQ. Okay. Now for the time being, I have level 4 HQ. Typhoons, okay, so I upgraded my Typhoons a little bit so they can be used as a replacement for my anti-air. Since anti-air does cost a lot of power, now I'm not really uh, going into a lot of hammers or anything like that, so it's not going to consume much CP at all. So I'd rather go for Typhoons, okay. Oh ho! Okay, so those hawks are actually attacking the uh, in the uh, airfield of Super D and are going to retreat. Yes, yellow also has hawks as was re was revealed earlier. Okay, now Super D asked me to take over land. However, you know the first one to get spaced right here wins the battle, since it will be like a whack-a-mole of super weapon that will turn out uh, like that. And as you can see, I have. Typhoons right there. Typhoons still in production and I am saving for a level 5 HQ. 
Okay, those hawks are still trying to be annoying. And I'm going to rely on uh, Super D to help me defend. Okay, let's see if those uh, he, these uh, vertexes can get a clean hit out of those hawks. No, they already retreated. Damaged my uh, power plant right there. And those hawks came back for more. Okay. And again, the uh, vertex will undock. Okay, they will uh, see if they can like uh, you know manage to get a clean hit out of those ver uh, hawks right there. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, man. Oh, one vertex will fall. Okay. And then there's like a lot of hammers right here, which has been revealed by the coyotes. Hence, the hawk of this yellow player will now go after those uh, hammers that hasn't or there doesn't have any uh, typhoons at all. Okay. Now, let's see what's going on. I think Super D is so expecting those hawks to come after the hammers right here. Hence, th this will give him an opportunity to fire freely at those... Uh, hawks that will be going after the hammers okay so one infantry managed to hide over here and here goes super d and are going to uh, intercept the hawks but there's like no hawks that are coming after those hammers for now okay level 5 hq is now ongoing still i'm adding more hammers to have a little bit of defense right there okay so again i have no anti-air tower since i will have the typhoons as act like an anti-air as a replacement for those since it does not consume power at all okay now i have a scout right here with the one hammer i had to retreat and replace it with you know replace it with a with an assault right there okay and a scout over here to see if there will be any pending attacks hawks are also coming over here okay they had the typhoon deployed however it was already too late okay so um super d added more uh, one more AVF factory and two more airfields. He'll go full vertex. Okay, now let's see how this plays out. Okay, I'm still adding more typhoons into my base at, to act as a uh, anti-air defense. Okay, so the hammers really managed to go over here. However, Jaguars are waiting above the clip on the yellow player's base. That is to be expected. Okay, so... Uh, Super D was planning Thors, as can be seen right there. There's like a level 5 or level 3 AVF Factory. Additional anti-air from Super D. Going level 2 AVF Factory. So there will be, uh, you know, 2 AVF Factories. Okay. And let's see here. The Hawks are going after that airfield. Oh my god, it's low on HP. And those uh, Hawks that are Vertex that are docked. And wow, what a clean hit right there. Okay, retreat, man. Retreat. You have low HP. Okay. Still managed to dispose of some hawks at the expense of four vertex. Okay, that's actually not a bad trade if you're going to be asking me since the red player lost more hawks than that of the vertex lost because there's only four. Okay, so the hawks are now going to go after that airfield that is exposed and anti-air will be added here as defense. Okay, I have one typhoon right there which is not sieged up so that's my bad right there. Bad micro. Okay, I actually forgot about that. No, there's actually no scout here whatsoever on my space system just yet. Okay, they have yet to see it, as can be seen right there. They managed to successfully destroy that airfield from Super D. Okay, I'm still adding more hammers into the mix and have them patrol over the area of my base. Or inside my base. And here goes, I'm going to uh, relocate some of the typhoons to of course cover this uh, space system that I'm having here okay so here goes still oh my god they destroyed one power plant right there unpowering those anti-air from super d okay let's fast forward a bit okay now those uh hawks actually saw my airfield or space system okay there goes one good hit there by that vertex right there okay oh nice hit oh come on man one more hit those vertex man uh hit the, those hawks Come on, one more hit, one more hit, nice, okay, now they're going to go away, hmm, wow, that's good damage right there, okay, but killed a, uh, or it destroyed a power plant from Super D, hence still unpowering, now those uh, Vertex, or Hawks, actually those Hawks are going after my space system, okay, from the yellow player, okay, and are abusing, oh wow, what good Hawk Micro right there, it managed to fire on those Vertex, 
that was uh, trying to defend my base. And however, the Vertex did fire back at those Hawks. Come on, man. One more. Nice. Very good. Okay. And so now, he's going to go on ahead and dock and refuel. While I'm going to go on ahead and re rebuild that space system. Now, I'll have more Typhoons added into the mix. And, of course, I'll have to relocate some of the uh, Typhoons to cover this area right here. So the Hawks cannot abuse this location going back and forth since there's like minimal anti-air defense. Okay, so they can either go here, here, oh straight here, okay, or straight past here as can be seen right there. So I had my uh, Typhoons all over my base as can be seen right there so that they can get a good hit out of those Hawks. Okay, so I got like a, you know, a few, or several hammers right here along with some assaults. Okay, while well, Super D is still going for Vertex, as can be seen right there. And uh, let's see what's going on over here. Still, Space System will now finish, and I'm, I believe that there will be a Scout right here. Okay, oh, a Porcupine is uh, going right there. And they're going to get rid of my units. Okay, Vertex from Super D are now going after those Porcupines. Okay, one Vertex is low in HP. Nice micro there by Super D. Very good. Yeah. Okay. So let's see what's going on here. I have one of assault, one of my assault gum over here, so that of course it can see if there will be a pending attack coming over here. Oh man, those uh, hawks are really, really going after my uh, space, and they destroyed one of my uh, power plant, unpowering my space. There goes uh, Vertex from Super D yet again. Okay. We're going to have to fast forward a bit. Okay, here goes. And again, porcupines are being placed right here as a scout, which is quite nice to be honest. Since it is an anti-air, but one porcupine are no match for a vertex. Okay, and here goes. Ooh, solid hit. Okay, and they're going after my space now. Okay, what a good concave right there. And this can be seen. Oh, man, that's a huge loss there. Okay. That's not a worthy and, you know, like, that's not a good thing to do. As you can see, lost a lot of Hawks in the process. He lost more resources than I did since his, his space system is just 1,200 resources. Whereas those Hawks, the lost, uh, I mean, the Hawks that got destroyed cost more than my space system. Now, the yellow player's Hawks are going after the airfield yet again. And here goes the Vertex are going to undock. But there's like a lot of infantry coming over here from the red player. Okay. And also, three chameleons. some uh, A lot of jaguars has been seen right there. Oh, nice pick off. Oh, my God. And as you can see, I have my ja uh, hammers right here. Get in a straight line. So to, of course, defend my base. Now, I'll also have some defense right here because I really needed that. And... You know, there's like dearest porcupines or some jaguars, whatever, that will be coming over here to attack my base from that side. Okay, now let's see what's going on here. Okay, so two layered lines right there, but I have like three, six, nine, ten hammers right there. Okay, so I'll have to add one bunker over here, which was a mistake. So I'm going to have to replace that with a construction yard later on. There it goes. I'm going to have to replace that with a construction yard so I can place bunkers right here to defend against the Grenadiers from the red player. Okay. So I'm just waiting for the uh, Chameleon to go over here. Place them on hold. Added more hammers into the mix. Okay. Here it goes. This is how to use the Cyclones, guys. Okay. Cyclones. Okay. Whoever says Cyclones are not useful. Okay. Okay. Cyclones are uh, useless, right? Mmm. Cyclones useless. Oh, those hawks are actually going after my uh, my hammers right there. I'm going to have to have them retreat. Now, the uh, the jaguars, the army of the uh, the yellow player right there retreated for a bit since there's only one chameleon that will definitely run out of energy. Okay. So, yes. Okay, he's adding more cyclones here. So, he has now a total of eight cyclones. Let's say three... Uh, nah, they're moving around. Okay, three, six, eight cyclones. Okay, there will be ten cyclones soon. Okay, and as you can see, there's like bunkers right there. And space system yet again will be used. Okay, let's see now if the uh, units are here. Okay, he's actually going to fish them out. Destroyed two. 
or one Jaguar right there. And are they able to pick up that? Oh, no, it lived. Okay, another scout right here revealing what this red player is up to. Some armadillos and porcupines. Okay, so I'm going to help out defend. I'm going to help Super D defend on this side while I go spam bonkers right here to defend myself versus infantry, armadillos, and porcupines. Okay, so still non-stop cyclone production as can be seen right there. Okay, and I'm going to use air raid boost since I'm expecting my space system to be targeted by those hawks. Now, as you can see, uh, Super D does have... Ooh, good cancel right there. Okay, lost again a lot of hawks in the process. Now, keep in mind that my space system doesn't have any armor upgrade, but still those hawks cannot one-hit kill it. Okay, there it goes. Man, that's a lot of hawks that was destroyed right there for a space. Okay, so I'm gonna have to rebuild the space system. There's like no hawks from both players. However, this yellow player right here is proving dangerous as of the moment due to the chameleon and jaguars, porcupines whatsoever. Again, cyclones are going to be produced. That's like a lot of cyclones already. There's like 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 cyclones at the moment. Okay, so yes, and here I am. Bonkers. Yeah, bonkers, man. Bonkers. Okay, so there goes still. I got like uh, nine hammers right there because some hammers got destroyed by the uh, Hawks earlier. And let's see what's going to happen here. A scout revealing this red player. Let's see what the red player has. A nuclear. Okay, so there's like a nuclear coming from the red player. So yes, this uh, map is, you know, as I said earlier, whoever has the super weapon will play whack a super weapon. Okay. So here it goes. Okay. And uh, Super D will now to you know will now have to attack this uh, ha uh, nuclear right there since there's like less hawks at the moment due to the hawks getting destroyed, destroying my space system or space launcher. Okay, here goes the vertex. Okay, this guyman is still trying to be annoying. Okay, red player as can be seen is trying to make a move. Okay, and here goes the vertex. Let's see if they can snipe this nuclear launcher right here okay and bam not oh my god there's no cancel on that nuclear okay and the yellow player going after here red player retreated okay so it's gonna be seen right there this uh, attack right here is proving difficult for me to handle with just a few hammers okay here goes there's like a lot of porcupines inside that man uh that fog and as you can see cyclone useless Cyclone useless, not getting inside the fog with porcupines. Mm. Vertex killing whatever is inside. Okay, so those vertex retreated from Super D and there's no vertex got that got destroyed since the, the porcupines are busy with the cyclones. Okay, so yes, there goes. Cyclone useless, destroyed chameleon. Mm. Cyclone useless. <laughs> okay. So still, there's like two porcupines here. The rest of the porcupines got owned. And as you can see, those cyclones are getting rid of the porcupines. Hmm, porcupine imba. Porcupine imba, yeah. Okay, so there goes uh, walls right here. I'm going to have to use the walls. Of course, to prevent them from going above the cliff. Okay, nuclear uh, space system is almost done. The red player is also doing its best, throwing everything that what he has here. Chameleon is now going to reactivate. Those vertex are going to shred those jaguars apart. Now those uh, porcupines right here are going to be shredded by my bunkers as well. Okay, so the cyclones are still here since there's no porcupines uh, in this uh, yellow army's uh, base. And now again, the space is now ready. And I'm going to space strike this red player's base right here. Oh my god. Okay, Chameleon ran out of energy. Mm, Chameleon Imba. Yeah. Okay, there you go. So, that one Jaguar. Hmm, Jaguar Imba. Okay. So, this porcupine. Okay, but let's go back here and let's see. Bam. Oh my god, that's a good damage right there. Okay, good damage right there. Okay. Now, let's see what's going on over here. Those vertex are like trying to refuel. Super D is going to add one more Avia factory for Cyclone production since, you know, Cyclone useless, not getting inside the fog. Hmm. Okay, so yes. My bunkers here. No bunkers got destroyed. Hmm. 
bunker useless okay so yes typhoons are here okay still typhoons are gonna be used however they actually destroyed my special vehicle factory preventing me for more typhoon production okay now let's see how this plays out the yellow player has yet to be scouted yet again dude you know for a long period of time now and I'll use one of this assault right here okay scout right here revealing what the yellow player has still level 4 HQ no danger of super weapons super D is now going over here to see what the red player has there's no anti-air whatsoever shenanigans and he's now going to destroy that special vehicle factory oh there's like three hawks right there okay he's gonna have to retreat to avoid any losses from those hawks okay now let's see what's going on here i got like two hammers at the moment another space is being loaded on my launcher right there okay let's see now those uh, hawks managed to get here one got destroyed the other one got destroyed second hawk destroyed okay third hawk destroyed hmm. typhoon useless yeah <laughs> okay typhoons bad upgrade yeah kill hawks mm. okay so here goes queued up hammers right there okay still as you can see the cyclones that are useless dubbed useless by the confederation at least most of the confederation okay so yeah they're now being used to get inside the fog oh i thought they cannot get inside the fog okay so here goes my scout uh, revealed that the uh, yellow player is moving again on this location right here. Now let's see if he will react. Now I will have Super D place one cyclone right here to see above the cliff. So that of course, you know, he can snipe a chameleon. Oh my god, one chameleon almost died right there. Let's see if he can snipe it. Okay, one chameleon died. Okay, but there's like a lot more porcupines here than the previous attack. Let's see if the Cyclones can get in because Cyclone's useless, right? Yeah, Cyclone useless. Okay, space system is again almost done. Hawks are now going over here to attack my space system yet again. And yeah, mm, one Hawk is not going to cut it. And as you can see, there's like 3, 6, 9, 11, or 12 Cyclones over here. Red player, Porcupine is right here. has been seen by my assault right there. Okay. So I added more hammers added into the mix. And as you can see, I'm going to fire the space system on this yellow player right now to see, or of course to cause some damage and maybe getting rid of that Avia factory will be very good pickoff. Okay, so yes, there goes. It's like a lot. Okay, and here goes. And bam. Okay, that's actually pretty good damage right there. Getting rid of some newly produced units. Okay, so here goes. Mm -hmm. Cyclones are now getting into position. Okay. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Okay, so here goes. The vertex are trying to refuel and are now going to undock. Yeah, Cyclone Useless cannot get inside the fog. They cannot get inside. Oh, destroy the chameleon. Oh, vertex destroys everything. Yeah, Cyclone Useless. Mm. Oh my god. Okay, however, there's like. Um, one more chameleon right there, but most of the jaguars has been destroyed. Oh my god. Okay, more, there's actually more jaguar inside the fog. Okay, chameleon ran out of energy. Chameleon Imba. Okay, so there goes. Chameleon got destroyed. However, there's like a lot, you know, a few units left right here. Yep, porcupines. There goes. Mm hmm. Jaguars. Yeah, I thought Cyclones, right? Mm, there was like a debate on Facebook that Cyclones cannot get inside the fog. Mm. Oh my god. Okay, so there goes. Mm. Okay, what a successful defense right there. Good job by Super D. Yep. Okay, so again, saving resources for another Space Strike right there. And I'm gonna have to do a Space Strike on this guy. And yet again, wow, a nuclear nuclear has been revealed right here from the red player and some porcupines are still trying to be annoying here as the scout and here goes the vertexes from super d let's see that's a very good snipe right there anti-air has yet to be finished oh man please do snipe some anti-air right there while it's uh being uh you know built okay so i have some hammers over here that are going after the red player so to of course counter attack as there's no hawks as of this moment there's only one avia factory here from the red player okay 
Now, but I've, I have noticed that there's like a vehicle factory right here. So this red player might be switching tactic over to JCP as well or Jaguar Chameleon Porcupine as well. Okay, still my bunkers remain here, but there's like no construction radius since there's no construction yard. However, space system is now reloading. And again, Super D does have a good amount of vertex and it's, it appears that he grouped, it, uh, grouped them into two. Okay, mm. destroy that one porcupine right there to prevent any further scouting and I'll have my uh, assault go over there. I added one more vehicle factory to of course supply more hammers. Okay, and again, a sniper revealing right there. Sniper firing at my assault and two chameleons. Let's see. Oh man, how... how <laughs> okay, I think this, that's like a bug right there that only one vertex responded first. Okay, so he'll have to retreat. Okay, so still Cyclone Production right here. And I'm going to attack the uh, red player as can be seen right there. And I'm going to have to destroy those anti-air. Okay, well, let's see what's going on. Okay, still as can be seen right there. Space system is almost done. And I'm going to have to deal damage over to this red player. Forcing him to react and ignore my an my space system. Okay, one anti-air has, anti has been destroyed. One hawk right here from the red player has been uh, seen. Okay, I'm gonna have to destroy still those anti-air. Okay. So, to of course uh, deal more damage and as much as possible get rid of that vehicle factory as well. Okay, here goes. And space system again. Let's see who I strike. I'll go ahead and strike this yellow player right now to get rid of the base. Okay, so I'm still going after the uh, special vehicle factory as can be seen right there. Okay. And let's see the damage here. BAM! Okay, that's not actually a... Uh, well, that's actually a huge damage right there. Now, this yellow player did not repair his HQ from my previous space strike. Oh man, what a good snipe right there on that chameleon. Sniping it off and damaging the other chameleon. So, uh, sniping it later on will prove super easy. And as you can see, I have units above the cliff. Since both uh, the yellow player might go above the cliff yet again. And let's see here. Mm hmm. There's like two, oh, only two anti air remains here. Okay. And one cyclone has been placed over here to scout. And man, this yellow player doesn't have any HQ now. Okay. So here goes. He, he still has more cyclones added into the mix. The cyclones that are useless that cannot get inside the fog. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> That's how you use a cyclone, okay? Alright, along with the vertex, so yeah. Okay, so I'm going to save an, again for another space system. Okay. There it goes, we're gonna have to fast forward a bit. Okay. Here goes the scout. Okay, nothing crazy so far has been seen from this yellow or red player. Okay, now going back. And I asked Super D to have a scout right here placed on hide mode, one cyclone, because that's how you use a cyclone, okay? And here goes again, the red player is going after my my space system. However, there's like the lack of hawks right there. Okay, one rifleman has been revealed by that one Imba cyclone, as you can see. Useless cyclone, revealing a unit inside the tree, okay? And are not being fired upon above the cliff, okay? Now let's see here, there's like chameleons activated right here with tons of porcupines inside and jaguars also. And I'm placing my units here as you can see in a good concave, in a good straight line so that they can intercept the uh, yellow players' uh, units that are going to go above the cliff. Okay, Vertex has had it, you know, screw that. Okay, so here goes. Uh-huh. Let's see. One cyclone has been revealed. Okay, there goes. It's now going after the... Uh, yeah, it's not going inside the fog. Okay, there's like lots of porcupine there, remember. Okay, so, oh, lots of units has been revealed. Let's see if the vertex can kill the units inside. Oh, cyclone useless. Yeah, cyclone useless. Oh. Okay, the cyclones are useless. Mm, there's like porcupines there. But why? They, they got inside the fog. Uh, and then my hammer killed everything inside. Okay, there it goes. And again, space system is ready on my end. And I'm going to attack this red player right here. 
Oh my gosh. Kudos to these uh, players who did not give up easily. Okay, so Cyclone useless. Yeah, Cyclone trying to damage that Jaguar right there. Okay, so here goes. Another strike. Oh my god, how many space strike is this? <laughs> okay, that's this is a lot of space strike. Vertex are now ready here. Are getting into a position to attack right after the space system is launched. Okay, there goes. Going after the HQ now, destroying it would be a big pickoff from Super D. Okay, there it goes. Bam! Okay, however, there's like a lot of, or there's like two anti air right there. However, there's no HQ whatsoever. Oh my god. Okay, so still hammer production here on my end. And I'm going to, of course, launch another space and, you know, swing the space over to both players as can be seen how many space strike have been have they taken my space system ain't even maxed okay so yes here goes another scout right here revealing what both players has ho ho the red player is going up for an attack right here in the middle of the map with chameleon jaguar porcupine and a ton of riflemen okay so i have uh my jaguars or my hammers positioned over here here goes the scout let's see Yellow player or red player is rebuilding the HQ as can be seen right there and does have anti-air right here Okay, but he still has that special vehicle factory level 3 so chameleons are still an option from them Okay, the blue player or actually Super D will now head after here Okay, we'll now go over here and oh nice pick up right there Okay, now let's see what's going on the red player is now going moving into attack with grenadiers and so I have my hammers right here. I have all my units right here. You know, screw the anti-air. Screw whatever it is. You know, I'm just going to defend here in this location. And here goes. The last hope. The last ditch of attack from the red player. Let's see what will happen. Okay. So I'm going to use uh, attack boost right here. And have the uh, units go inside the fog. So just in case that chameleon... You know covers them my hammers are already inside revealing what there is to reveal okay so yeah chameleon imba mm. okay so that attack is pretty much cleaned up okay so one cyclone right here is going to see what this yellow player has and still non-stop unit production from the yellow player still level 4 hq let's see if super d will go ahead and destroy Okay, what he will destroy is that special vehicle factory level 3 right there. There it goes. Okay. Ah, oh, nice micro right there. Very good micro. Destroying some of the units as they uh, go back and forth. Okay. Units here. The attack here from the red player has now been cleaned up. Let's see. Okay, Chameleon is here yet again along with some porcupines and jaguars from the yellow player. Okay, again, space system is now loading up less than a minute okay so yeah and that's a lot of factories right there man that's a lot of hammer factory right there and i only have two and then this okay so i'll be moving over to this location so that of course i can get rid of any uh, attack coming from the red player or even help out or even attack the red player since the red player has is going to rebuild his base okay now let's see here this a useless cyclone on top of the cliff. We'll see whatever there will be to see. Yep, above or below the cliff right here. Okay, so I'm going into attack here. Okay, space system is now ready. Let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so Super D is going back and forth, destroying that one Avia factory, and are now going after this HQ right here. Let's see what will happen. Will he be able to pick that off? Okay, no, I'm going to attack this uh, yellow player right here to see what I can do. And, of course, destroy some of the infrastructure from the yellow player's base. Okay, here it goes. Okay, still there's no activity from the yellow player from here. Okay, and voila. Bam. Okay, destroyed some of the uh, administration buildings and the special vehicle factory. So, yeah. There's no more reconstruction boost for you, my friend. Okay. Meanwhile, red players, uh, Jaguar, are exposed right here. I have some of my Typhoons accompanying my hammer so that, of course, act as an anti-air. 
Okay. Wow, that's a lot of hammers from Super D as can be seen right there. Wow. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we're gonna have to finish the job right here. And as you can see, there's like still an army there from the yellow player. And wow, nice pickup right there. Chameleon is now just going to activate while I go on ahead and attack this red player's base right here. Okay, so let's see. That's a lot of hammers right there. <laughs> oh my god, that's just crazy. Okay. And again, another space system is going to load up. And here goes. Okay, so that's like seven jaguars and the porcupines right there. Inside the chameleon. Let's see if the hammers can do this. Oh, chameleon imba. Chameleon imba. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Meanwhile, my attack over here is proceeding nicely and are going to destroy the vehicle factory and of course those uh, porcupines. However, Super D or managed to clean up the Chameleon Imba right there with just hammers alone. Okay, now there's no stopping these hammers going over to the yellow player's base. Oh my god. Okay, still, Grenadiers are going to be used to here by the red player in order to stop my hammers, but... Oh man, there's simply not enough to stop or contest these hammers that I have over here. Okay, same thing goes for the yellow player. One Jaguar is running for its life against this horde of hammers right here and more hammers are going to be added from super d oh my god <laughs> okay so let's see here less than a minute before my space system is ready again meanwhile my attack over here is cleaning up after that power plant okay oh man this is bad news for the yellow player yellow player's base is now going to be destroyed by those hammers that you know that doesn't have anti-air because you know they don't have anti-air other players complain they don't have anti-air yeah okay so here goes very dear snipers okay but of course they're a good counter however there's no there's actually no I mean not enough infantry right there to stop it however my attack here with the red player it seems like the red player already accepted his fate uh, being destroyed okay now, as you can see, the yellow player is desperately trying to save his base. Even Kaimans are going to produce out of that shipyard to, of course, uh, help defend versus this uh, craziness of hammers. Okay, also hammers are going to be over here. Uh, meanwhile, there's no Zeus. Okay. So, the army composition of me and Super D that was used over here, bam, was hammers, typhoons, space system... Vertex, Cyclones, Assault Infantry, that's it, that's what we've used, versus Chameleon, Porcupines, Jaguars, Hawks, Grenadiers, Armadillos, yeah, okay, so this guy is pretty much dead, uh, dead. and as you can see, Yellow Player has already accepted his fate, Gr Red Player, also are now going to be destroyed okay so again that was some crazy crazy i don't know how many space strike i had there very epic <laughs> raining space space strike okay and so i'm going to attack this space system or yeah attack this one anti-air the lone survivor okay i have hammers right here I'm gonna have to fast forward. Yeah, man. Okay, so they're going to take a picture. Okay, come on, man. Join us. Take a picture. Yeah, Super D played well. Super D Imba. And of course, just to let you guys know, Super D is also one of the author of Art of War 3 Wiki. Okay. The uh, Wiki actually stands you know it does contain tactics tips and tricks on how you can do a specific tactic just like what we did right here that tactic is written in that wiki so if you guys are interested go on ahead and check that out and of course the link is in the description below the video okay here goes just waiting I don't know how many space strike I had here <laughs> okay Come on, Super D is joining the uh, picture. Okay, is he going to join? 
Okay, come on, man, join. Join the party. Join the party, the, the finale. Ah, oh, man. Okay, so there it goes. Yeah, boy. All right. Bam. Hmm. The end. All right, well, if you'd like the video, please do consider subscribing on my channel. And of course, give this video a thumbs up and turn on the notification to not miss an uploader stream from my channel. Might as well check my previous videos as they contain tips and tricks that may help you win a battle. And again, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day and good luck with your battles. Bye now.